2012-82, State of Arkansas v. Kenneth Smith. Mr. Smith, you're appearing here today uh, for purposes of changing your plea on the charges against you, is that correct? Yes, sir. And this change of plea is brought about by an agreement that's been worked out for you by your uh, attorney? Is yes, that sir. Correct? I believe your attorney was Mr. Bayless who was working on this? Yes, sir. And Mr. Mr. Friend is standing in for Mr. Bayless at this time, you understand yes, that? Yes, sir. Have you thoroughly discussed the terms of the agreement and the punishment you're to receive with Mr. Bayless? Yes, sir. Do you feel you understand what, what those terms are? Yes, I do. Do you have any further questions about this plea? No, sir. All right. Are you satisfied with the advice and the representation that Mr. Bayless and, and Mr. Friend in standing in today uh, have provided you? Yes, I am. On the charges of making and uttering hot checks a Class C felony, how do you now plead? Guilty. You're in this plea pursuant to the agreement, and the agreement is set out in writing in this document I'm holding out called the plea statement. Have you read through and signed this plea statement? Yes, sir. And in reading through it, did you come to understand what's set out in writing? Yes. You have, and, and uh, you then understand the nature of the charges against you and the full range of penalties you're facing? Yes, sir. You understand the rights that you give up or surrender when you enter a plea of guilty? Yes. By pleading guilty, you're giving up the right to a jury trial. You're giving up the right to be represented by an attorney and have the assistance of that attorney at trial? Yes, sir. You're, you're giving up the right to confront the witnesses that would appear and testify against you at trial, and you're also giving up the right to appeal. Do you understand these rights that you're giving up? Yes, sir. And understanding what you're giving up, are you still willing to enter this plea of guilty? Yes, I am. Are you pleading guilty here today freely and voluntarily? Yes. Has anybody in any form or fashion forced you into entering this plea? No. As you plead guilty here today, do you acknowledge the truth of the accusations against you? Yes, I do. You acknowledge that uh, has this been supplemented by additional checks or is it just the one check? Just the one, Your Honor. You acknowledge that on or about the 23rd of March 2010 here in Baxter County, uh, you wrote and passed a check uh, for well in excess of um, $1,200, uh, which check was returned insufficient account, uh, insufficient funds or account closed? Judge, let me uh, cite the facts. I apologize the court because this is confusing. He wrote several checks uh, totaling three or four thousand dollars as he stands here today all those checks have been paid back except eleven hundred three dollars one written at TNC auto sales uh, in the original amount of thousand dollars you acknowledge that that's what you did yes sir all right. based on those statements the court at this time is going to uh, find that the defendant has freely and voluntarily entered his plea of guilty done so after consulting with an attorney and has acknowledged the facts uh, that constitute the crime in this case. On that basis, the court accepts the defendant's plea of guilty, finds the defendant guilty, and based on the uh, plea of guilty uh, and the agreement before the court, the court sentenced the defendant to three years in the Arkansas Department of Corrections, uh, which sentence shall be uh, run concurrent with the sentence he is already serving court will provide that the defendant will pay uh, court costs in the amount of $200, a fine of $500, he'll owe restitution in the amount of $1,103, and then there's a statutory DNA testing, uh, and there should be a booking and administration fee as well. Uh, statutory DNA testing is $250, booking administration will be $20. Got that in the judgment, Your Honor. We just left it on the state. 
That will be the order of the court. The defendant is remanded in the custody of the sheriff's office to await transportation to the Department of Corrections. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Mayor. Excuse me. 2014-11, State of Arkansas versus Christopher Vosicek. This case on the scheduling order of Judge Putman is for a uh, for jury trial in September of this year with the status hearing September 4th. This is going to be for a plea. Uh, obviously, this gentleman is incarcerated in the Department of Corrections, and uh, I've shown him the police statement. He has agreed to the police statement, and uh, he'll go outside and fill that out, and then we can take care of that. All right. Thank you. 2014-168, State of Arkansas versus Robert Weaver. This case is on a scheduling order for uh, January 12th of 2015 at this time. Uh, the pre trial set for November 20th. And a reappearance date of October 23rd. I think it was this date just to determine counsel or. Established where we were. Yeah, we thought we had a plea. Uh, there's been a plea that's been agreed to in principle, apparently, but there's some details to be worked out. All right. Well, yeah, no, this is going to be put out this afternoon. This is one that we probably won't have worked out this morning, but when he comes back for the afternoon session, this will definitely plead out. All right. I'll put it in the stack. Things to be called later. Court calls 2014-94, 2014-99. State of Arkansas versus Richard Berger. Your Honor, Mr. Berger had previously been sentenced by this court quite some time ago. He has uh, contacted our office on numerous occasions uh, since sentencing. He has uh, been incarcerated for approximately five months. Your Honor, the sole purpose of Mr. Berger reappearing in front of this court today is to address uh, the issue of a DOC or ADC bond. And I have told Mr. Berger that that is something that uh, would be totally under the ambit and jurisdiction of, of this court. Well, Judge, what, what are, what are, what's the basis for requesting an ADC bond? Judge, may I point out something, Gord? He's not our property anymore. I hate to use that phrase, but his parole has been revoked. He's in custody of the Arkansas Department of Corrections. He happens to be housed in the Barrett County Jail, but I don't think we can have any authority to release him absent. I, of course, you're the judge. You, you can do anything you want to really have his corpus, but keep in mind he is now a property of the ADOC. His, bond has been, his parole has been revoked. He's been sentenced back to the Department of Corrections and awaiting a bed for that, that procedure. Now, the state charges, the current state charges, still, we probably still have jurisdiction of. But obviously, this court wants him released. We will make sure that happens. Well, based yeah. on recent events, the court is not inclined to grant PTC bonds at this point. So yeah, and I, I'd, I'd have to have a very good reason to even consider it in light of the parole revocation process, the court's going to deny any request for ADC bond. Your Honor, Mr. Berger had written out a, a statement. May I approach and let the court read Certainly, that statement? I'll be glad to review it. Mr. Berger, I have read and recognized the, uh, I think, the validity of most of the uh, matters that you bring up, but at this point, based on recent past experience, I, the court is not inclined to grant uh, ADC bonds uh, solely to allow people to get out to check on family members or something like that. You, or, and I used to have a procedure, I'd do furloughs, you know, for short time furloughs, but the, the last person to get one of those uh, has left a sour taste in my mouth about those. So I'm, I'm just not inclined to do that in light of the being informed of the status of the uh, parole request, I mean, of the parole situation, the court's not going to grant the 
your request. Thank you, Your Honor. Request to be denied.